Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and um, a very surprising, uh, actually something I think that is a very surprising fact that Von Richten's Guide to Ravenloft exposed based on its timing and, um, and its overall coverage and its promotion, uh, which is a distinct problem for Wizards of the Coast. Let's get into it. And so basically it is how much Todd Kenrick did for Dungeons and Dragons as far as serving as an anchor and grounding their coverage, right? Of their own game, right? So Todd Kenrick is a really incredibly strange uh, note in Dungeons and Dragons history. And he is, he's part of history and he's still part of the game. Well, actually he's no longer part of official Dungeons and Dragons now. He really is part of its history, right? So let's talk about this. So if you don't know who Todd Kenrick is, Todd Kenrick is... Uh, one of the voices who was on, he was somebody who served, I think he was kind of like the lead of D&D Beyond, right? Now, he just left Dungeons & Dragons about two or three months ago as he left Dungeons & Dragons Beyond. And he also served as a very, very, very major forward voice for Dungeons & Dragons as far as doing coverage when new books would come out. He would do the major interviews. So he would he would uh, do interviews with Matthew Mercer. He would do interviews with like Ann Wool, who was like on True, you know, True uh, True Blood, right? She's actually like a Hollywood star, right? Like you know, a, a television star. Um, she was on Daredevil, right? You know, Ann Wool, and she's a she's a uh, um, she is specifically a Dungeons and Dragons fan. He would talk with the writers, right? And he was incredibly good at it, and. We know this now because of Von Richten's guide to Ravenloft, right? Now, why do we know this? Well, here we go, right? So, basically, since he since he transitioned, since Todd Kenrick transitioned out, which was an incredibly epic event. Okay, I'm not kidding. When he gave his speech for why he was le- for when he gave his speech announcing that he was leaving Dungeons and Dragons, he cried. Right, he, he literally cried on the video. Like it wasn't. A, he did not leave. Like, hey, I'm moving on to bigger and better. He was like, you were like, it was. He was unlisted, and he was very, very sad to be leaving. It was a moment in in D and D history. We don't know why he would. You know why he left D and D Beyond. We don't know if it was his choice, uh, and he felt he had to, or if you know he, he was let go. We don't know. We have no idea what happened. Right. Uh, even now, right? So, uh, by the way, if anybody has any information on that, like, you know, if, if uh, I'm not asking for, like, uh, you know, s- s- scoops or anything, I'm just saying if you've heard anyone say openly why he left, because I haven't heard him say it, right, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Uh, but Todd Kenrick, you know, one of the things now is, so there's two bo- been two books since he left, Candlekeep Mystery. He kind of left in the middle of Candlekeep Le- Rist- Mystery's release, right? But it really didn't matter that he wasn't around for Candlekeep Mystery. And the reason why was nobody was really paying attention to Candlekeep Mystery. And the reason why nobody paid attention to Candlekeep Mystery is Candlekeep Mystery is a 256-page uh, adventure book, right? No one cares about D&D adventure books. Just because you put it in a, uh, you know, official ones. Nobody cares. Now, here's why. No one needs to care about official D&D adventures. The reason why is they're 256-page, full-color, hardback modules. But they're just modules. You will find literally 5,000 of them on DMs Guild, right? The world needs another D&D module, like... Like somebody needs an, an additional, uh, you know, hole in their head. It is thoroughly and utterly unneeded. Right? There is just no need for it whatsoever. Okay. So, um, so basically, there truly is just absolutely no need for, um, for there to be an additional D and D adventure. Right. So nobody was really paying attention. To, it, it really wasn't very clear that Todd Kenrick was gone when the Candle Keep Mystery coverage was coming out because very, very few people were actually watching any of that coverage, right? But Von Richten's Guide is major. It's a brand new setting book. And boy, oh boy, does it matter. It matters a lot. 
right? So if so, with that being the case, you know, with this new book coming out and a lot of people being hyper interested in the only the fifth titled setting book in seven years, right? Von Richten's Guide to Ravenloft becomes one of the most interesting books ever printed within Dungeons Dragons 5th edition. And when that happens, what ha what does that mean? Well, that means a lot of people are paying incredibly close attention to what is occurring, right? And with that, uh, Dungeons & Dragons has to do real coverage, right? So what happens for that real coverage, right? Well, when you do that real coverage and you actually come in and you, uh, and you actually have to cover a book that has an incredible amount of attention on it, Todd Kenrich's absence is shockingly clear, right? So why is that? Well, Jeremy Crawford. Because because Todd Kenrick is gone, right? They have to trot out other voices. Chris Perkins, uh, Jeremy Crawford, right? Um, and these people are not actual, actual like they're, they just don't have a skill set to be in front of the camera that much. All of them have been in front of the camera before, but to my surprise, it seems like they've gotten worse. Now, why would they have gotten worse? I think the pandemic. I think the pandemic has been shockingly traumatic to a ton of people. But what we didn't realize was that Todd Kenrick was incredibly good at doing interviews and doing promotion for Dungeons and Dragons, specifically for Dungeons and Dragons uh, source books. And the reason why we know this is now that he's gone, the 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 people who are filling in for him are not, you know, aren't worthy of of cleaning the dust off his shoes. They're so bad at doing the same job, just shockingly bad, right? It is it is not even remotely close, right? So I think, you know, now that Von Richten's Guide is here, Von Richten's Guide to Ravenloft is here, there's an incredible need for good, concise, well-planned, uh, well-cadenced, well-spoken coverage, right? Todd Kenrick provided that. And app literally no one in Wizards of the Coast is capable of even doing half of what he did, right? He did the coverage in a winsome way. He was used to the camera. He was used to asking good questions that brought out the, the most from the people. He was good at, you know, he actually knew the game but he also knew how to talk on camera. He knew how to ask good questions. He knew how to interview. And right now, Wizards of the Coast has literally no one who can replace him, right? And you could feel his absence like as a palpable presence with the Von Richter's Guide Ravenloft coverage. And they gotta fix this problem because in today's society, you need a Todd Kenrick. No two ways about it, right? So I I was just shocked how how much we see that Ty Kerrick was doing now that he's gone. That's my opinion. What do you think? Am I are you seeing anybody that I'm not? Boy, like I, I watched you know five minutes. I watched I turned on a video and I started listening to Jeremy Crawford and had to stop listening to him after two minutes because he reminded me of an uh, of a professor that I had to pinch myself to stay awake from. Right, like he was really bad. Jeremy Crawford should not be on camera going forward. Tell you right now, great on Twitter, not good on camera. And Wizards of the Coast needs to learn this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment if you're seeing anybody that they are putting on. That by the way, they also brought in this professional lady, like who did some of the intro videos, and I, I think she's British or something. But she was interesting. But then it also was like this is an actor who has been told to read these few pages about Dungeons and Dragons. This person doesn't know about the game, right? So, like, Todd Kenrick is, I think Wizards of Coast is finding out they may not be able to replace Todd Kenrick. It's going to be, you know, as far as being able to do these promos. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.